Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video. Do you want to create a Grill Tech fan game like this one? Well, that's why I'm here to help you. I'm going to teach you how to make a Grill Tech fan game. This is just part one of the series. So today we're going to learn how to set up VR, the locomotion, and Photon. So let's get straight into it. First off, you want to create a new project. There's a very important part. Do not make it like URP or HRP. It's, it's just going to make your player laggy. Just set it to 3D and name your project whatever. I'm going to name it tutorial for this instance. Now, once your project is open, now you're going to want to follow these steps. First, you want to go to edit, project settings. Then you want to go to XR plugin management. Then you want to press install XR plugin management, like the only button there. Now for PC, well, if you're making a PC game, I recommend you enable Open XR. And it's going to say, do you want to enable the backend? Doing so will restart the editor. Press yes. And if you're making this game for Android, go to Android settings and put on, and switch this to Oculus. And if you see this right here, this like little warning thing, just press that and you'll, and you'll see that you'll have two issues. So, fix this by pressing the fix button and then go to edit right there and what you're gonna do is for the render mode I recommend you put multi-pass and go to the interaction profiles and enable and put on oculus touch controller profile and valve index controller profile you also want to switch this to multi-pass or multi-view whichever one go to interaction profiles and add Oculus Touch Control Profile. And you're done with that. If you want to add MetaQuest support, you can do that so, but for this tutorial, probably not. And look, all the issues are gone. Now we're gonna add the, the XR Interaction Toolkit. Go to Window, go to Package Manager, you're gonna go to Unity Registry, scroll all the way down until you find XR Interaction Toolkit. Install, and it says, this project may contain an absolute method to evaluate interaction between XR interactors and interactables. You just press I made a backup go ahead. Next, you see this drop down menu right here? You want to click the arrow and add starter assets. Import that. Now, it'll take you to this folder right here. Click on it and then you want to get all of these and then just press add. So basically, add that, add that. Just keep adding all of these until you reach the very end. Now you want to go to edit and then project settings. Go to preset manager. And then for here, you just type right here, like right next to the XRI default right controller. Type in right all lowercase. And same thing for here, but instead type in left all lowercase. Then boom, you got the VR thing set up. Now what you want to do is you want to go to my Discord, the Chaotic Temperate Forest, and you can see that there is a gorilla locomotion thing. So basically that's just like where the whole thing came from, like from Gorilla Tag. This is what Gorilla Tag actually uses. So you want to go to code, and then you want to press download zip. Then you'll get a zip. So. In the zip, you could really delete these uh, these four files, the license, player, readme, and service, because you don't really need those because the scripts are all in the Unity package. So you can only keep the Unity package. You don't have to delete them, but like if you want to keep them, that's, that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, all the scripts are in the Unity package, so you won't really need them. Now, you want to go to Assets, Import Package. I already have the package, so I'll get it from my uh, my files then you want to import gorilla locomotion dot unity package now you see it'll tell you to import the unity package see it has everything like the, the gorilla rig the locomotion um, scene and the scripts press import you can press reload if it tells you to reload the scene you can do that if you well only do it if you have nothing in the scene now as you see they got this custom um, kind of scene which has like the wall climbing and stuff and i have look at that it's the gorilla rig now when you press play you you can go to gorilla rig gorilla player and then you can move the left hand and right hand so you look at that it's like the real gorilla tag because it came from the actual source 
Pretty cool, huh? Now, it's time to add the multiplayer, the Photon. So, you wanna go into my Discord again, go to the Photon VR channel, and go to this link right here. Then, you wanna get the pre-release 0.0.4, go to Assets, and then install this one. I already have it in my files, so I don't really need to do it, but you need to do it if you want to add Photon to your game. Also, I completely forgot about this. You want to go to the Unity Asset Store. Yeah, I know, I'm watching an end of stream. Why not, bro? Just trying to get them views. Go to the Unity Asset Store and look for Pun2. And then you want to install this one. Pun2 free. Make sure it says free there. So that's how you know. Don't install this one because this one is probably for money. See, look, 90, $95. Jesus Christ. Just want to go here. And then just press add to my assets. Well, make sure you're logged into Unity. Then you want to go look up Photon Voice. Right here. Download Photon Voice 2. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, you gotta install Photon Voice 2. And then you just click add to my assets. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go to here and then press import. Well, if you don't have it installed already, there should be a button called installed. So you gotta install it. After it's done installing, you press the import button. Then you just press import. Hey, that's my birthday right there, 422. Now, just press skip, you don't really need that. And then just press close. Then, go to Photon Voice 2. And then, it'll tell you to install it. If it tells you to install it, then install it. Then, you wanna press import. Press import. So, after you got the Photon installed, the Photon networking and voice, you wanna go to assets and then import package, custom package, and then add the Photon VR package you installed. Then press import. You'll find the Photon stuff in resources, Photon VR, and then prefabs. You'll find this stuff. Before you add that, before you add these three things into the project, First off, you want to you want to go to Photon Engine, and then you gotta sign in. You gotta sign in, or you can create an account right there. I'm not a robot, I don't think. Now you want to press Create a new app. Then it'll tell you to create a new app for the Select Photon SDK. Make sure you select Pun for the application name. You can just name whatever you want. I'm gonna, for example, I'm gonna name it Tutorial. And then just press create. You don't need a description or anything. Then you want to press create a new app again. Select Photon SDK. You want to put it to voice this time. And then you just name this um, d d tutorial. But just put like a voice at the end so you know that it's a voice. Now, as you can see here, you got your tutorial server and tutorial voice. You want to get this, you want to get to the, the, the app ID. You want to control C. Then you want to go to Window, Photon Unity Networking, then Highlight Server Settings. Then you want to press this arrow where it says Server slash Cloud Settings. Press the arrow, then where it says App ID Pun, you want to paste the Pun App ID there. Then go to your Tutorial Voice, get that App ID, Control C. Then you want to go to where it says App ID Voice, and then put that there, Control V. Now, what you want to do is you want to create like an empty object where all your networking stuff is going to be. You don't really have to, but like I'm going to do it anyways. It's a way to keep all your networking stuff organized. Now I want to go to resources, Photon VR, prefabs, and then add these three things to the networking. The Photon VR manager, the player spawner, and the voice. Now what you want to do is for the region you just want to set it to your region that you live in. For example I live in the US and for the app ID and voice app ID you just get that app ID control C and then put that there. You want to get this you want to get to the, the, the app ID you want to control C and then I'm just gonna put it right there. So right here there's some stuff so join room on connect what it means is like when you're connected to like the servers and stuff it'll, it'll automatically join a room i like to keep that enabled for the default room limit you can basically set it from anywhere from 1 to 20 because to have more people in one server you have to pay for it 
but there's such thing as server buttons. I'll make a tutorial on that later. Yeah, next tutorial will add server buttons. Now, for the default room limit, you can just set it to whatever. I'm gonna set it to 20, because I can. Now, for the head, left hand, and right hand, for the head, you set main camera. For the left hand, you set left hand controller. And for the right hand, you set right hand controller. Now, your multiplayer is set up. Now, when you press play, there you go. Your player is set up. So, there should be a player name above here, but to do that, you gotta import the text, the text mesh pro essentials. So, you press import TMP essentials. And then if you want to import this, you can. I'm probably going to do it because I want to. Now, you want to press play. And then there you go. The player name didn't show up for whatever reason. So yeah, so there should be a player name right there. For some reason, it didn't show up in this scene. I can, like, turn that off. Because it's kind of annoying. And see, look. You can have... See, look. It's the, there's the hands. There's the left hand. And right hand. And you can move it all around. You could control it like... A gorilla tag player and then yeah so that's for today's tutorial um I'll upload another tutorial maybe next week or maybe in like a few days possibly so thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe tell me what I should do next for the tutorials and like tell me what you want me to make a tutorial on well for the, to make a gorilla tag fan game Join the Discord to get the scripts, or you just want to be a part of the community like a good person that you are. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.